Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. This week we're taking a look at uh, the Tower of Babel story in the book of Genesis, which is traditionally shared during the feast, the weekend of the Feast of Pentecost. And traditionally thought of uh, sometimes as a as a problem to be fixed or a, some kind of punishment to be corrected uh, by God in the story of Pentecost. I remember my mother telling me how happy she was. She, she grew up Roman Catholic, and when she was a kid, the priest used to say the Mass, the entire Mass, the, the service was spoken in Latin. And, of course, there weren't too many folks who actually understood the language. And then uh, at some point, uh, maybe during Vatican II, uh, the Catholic priest started saying the Mass in in the native language in in English in our country, and uh, I, rem I remember her saying how you know happy she was that she could finally understand the words and everything that was going on in the mass, and it reminds me of how uh, in the Protestant Reformation, uh, one of the things that Martin Luther wanted to do was to translate the Bible into his native language, the language of German, and how when the Bible started to get printed and, 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 and distributed in many uh, native languages, the common languages of the people, how, how that uh, helped to, to spread the Word of God, how people then uh, had access to, to reading these words of Scripture. And in fact, the diversity of culture and, and ethnicity and language, if you read through the book of Acts, that diversity is, is kind of the instrument by which the gospel of, of Jesus Christ gets spread throughout the known world. You know, we, we human beings, sometimes, we can be very tribal. We want to kind of stick with our own and sometimes feel very uncomfortable around a diversity of cultures or languages or, or peoples. Um, and, and, and this is kind of pointed out in this in this story, uh, God, God speaks of uh, human beings in this respect. The whole earth had one language and the same words. The Lord said, look, they are one people and they all have one language. So human beings, people in this story are very much uh, kind of the same, alike. But then God scatters them abroad, scatters them all over the ends of the earth, which seems to suggest that, that God's dream for humanity is not one of un uniformity. We may wonder sometimes what it is, how it is that we think about diversity. Maybe sometimes we don't appreciate it like we should. But I believe this passage makes clear that, that God is all about diversity and God's dream for humanity is diversity. Amen.
Thank you.